This is a fantastic recipe because there's really no cleanup at the end of it. I'm gonna show you a way that you can cook a piece of salmon, have it all contained in a bag. You can pretty much get away with not even having to wash up any plates at the end of this dish. So get your portion of salmon, put it one, but you can do as many as you want. You can have these pre-stored in the fridge. So if you made up six of these, you can have them sitting in the fridge ready to go. And as you want them, you can put them into the oven or under the fry pan. You'll need two pieces of baking paper and two pieces of foil per portion. So I'm doing one portion, so I've got two of each. Foil down first, then your baking paper. Place your piece of salmon on top, skin side down. So the skin actually helps. It's gonna protect us from the fierce heat that we're gonna put it on when we put it in the fry pan. And that, we're trying to create steam inside the parcel to steam the fish. A little bit of salt on top of your fish. And then we've got all of these wonderful sort of Thai curry ingredients. Some spring onions, chop them up. Give our spring onion. Chili. Leave the seeds in, it is a curry after all. Half a chilli. Put that on top. All around your piece of fish. The juice of a lime. You can put lime zest as well if you wanted to. I want the juice of a whole lime because I'm trying to create the steam. The coconut milk is going to help with that, but also the juice of this lime, the acidity of this lime is going to help with the coconut milk and not making it too cloying. Some chilli sauce. So you can use a sweet chilli sauce or a hot chilli sauce. Um, I like it hot, so I've gone for a hot chilli sauce. You can use a red onion or a purple shallot, whatever you can get your hands on. Red onions are normally a lot easier to get hold of um, and they're fairly similar anyway. I think a purple shallot's got a slightly more delicate flavour than a red onion. Um, but for what we want, we're going to get the same result. Probably only need about a quarter. A quarter of a red onion. Pop that on top. And you can see we're developing a really, really, really nice parcel of food. A little bit of coconut cream. This will make our sauce. So everything is going to be contained in this little parcel, the whole dish, the sauce, the curry sauce, the fish, all the vegetables. You can put more vegetables in there if you wanted to. You can put broccolini, some carrot, some julienne carrot. Pop your other piece of baking paper and foil over the top and then you want to seal it up. So fold it over so you get a nice tight seal. You don't want the steam to be able to escape because we're going to use the steam to cook our piece of fish. And also, we don't want any of that sauce to escape. All right, so make sure you've got a nice tight seal. So seal it in there. Now we've got this beautiful salmon curry. That can just sit in your fridge. So you can sit, you can do six of those at one time, have them sitting in your fridge ready to go, even if you're only, you're, you and your partner at home, there's six, well, there's three meals all set to go. If you've got a family of six, you've got six meals all set to go. One thing I will say, if you are gonna put them in the fridge, take them out a little bit before you cook them. You don't wanna be cooking these from dead cold because it's just gonna take so much longer and you'll overcook all the vegetables. They won't be crisp and vibrant by the time you cook the salmon through. Now you can put them straight into the oven like this. Set an oven at one, uh, 180 and just pop them into the oven. Or you can put them on a barbecue or a fry pan like I'm going to do. Because all we're trying to do is create heat. So if I put my pan there, if I sit this on top, just push it in. That pan's got that heat coming from the bottom. The skin of the salmon is going to protect the fish but that heat coming from the bottom is gonna create steam inside this parcel. This will all puff up 
And that steam circulating around inside that parcel is gonna cook our vegetables gently and cook our fish gently. So a piece of salmon that big with everything in there is gonna take between six and eight minutes to cook. So we'll come back and check on that in about six to eight minutes. Take that out, turn that off. The other really good thing about this is, as you would have seen, there's not a, this isn't a huge amount of steam coming out of there. So what it means is all the flavor stays in the parcel. So you're not losing, every time, I used to go to my grandmother's place and as soon as I walked in the front door, I could smell what she was cooking, if she was making pumpkin soup or something. And if you think about it, pumpkin soup, let's say pumpkin soup has 100 units of flavor. If you're smelling pumpkin soup in the air, that means some of that flavor has escaped into the atmosphere. You can't smell anything in here. You can't smell the fish or the coconut or the sauce itself because all the flavor is staying in the food, which is what we want. We don't want to be able to go in, walk into a house and smell what it is that's being cooked. Even though it makes for a lovely homely feeling, it means we're losing flavor out of the dish. All right, that's done. So then you can just pop it onto a plate so you're not a savage. Peel back your foil and there is your little salmon curry. Put a little bit of rice on there if you want to or you can eat it just like that. Some fresh coriander on top and you've got a really, really simple, really yummy, really clean, really lazy salmon curry.